the new iPhones are right around the corner, and we're going to discuss today what the iPhone lineup could be looking like this year and into next year and the future. <laughs> Usually I'm gonna wait until now to say these videos because I really don't want to say a video months and then be judged about it saying I was wrong. But hey, but now that we're super close, I think we pretty much got it. Um, they've said that it's not gonna be called the iPhone 12 S, which I was really hoping for. It wouldn't be called that. I think they just need to get rid of the S name. Even if it's an S year, they don't need the S naming. iPhone 13 is just fine. Also, I feel like I, next year should be the f iPhone 15. I wish just because it'd be a 10 year anniversary from the iPhone 5. But that's not gonna happen. Um, so new features we're expecting: bigger batteries, always on display, reverse wireless charging, which is kind of already on the 12. So just Apple, I don't think thinks it's worth it to have it. Like it's pointless. I think is what they think. Um, um. Anyway, so we should be seeing this phone disappearing. Boom. There are so much time and effort prepared into doing that. But there's your proof I actually have the iPhone 12 Pro. It's not exactly mine, but it's in my possession now. So, well, the box is anyway. So if you guys uh, are wondering about that video, I will be doing that. But it's going to be a one-year review now, I think. It'll be kind of fun to do. Anyway, but now we're expecting the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13, 13 Mini. They're keeping the Mini. Next year, it's going to be a, like 14, 14 Max, 14 Pro Max. Well, I think it's gonna be 14. We'll just get to that in a minute. Anyway, um, so and then we'll have the uh, iPhone 11, which will be a really good deal. So don't buy the iPhone 11 right now. Wait until the new event happens, and we'll the iPhone 11 will probably be at $500, which I'm expecting. I even posted a video about it a while back about the iPhone SE being $350. I really think that's gonna happen because they did that with the old one. So I think it'll be a really good lineup. I if they don't do it, I think at least they should, keep, if they keep it at 400, at least think they should change the storage from 64 to 128. That would be a good deal because maybe they wouldn't want to do that because the iPhone 11 is 150 bucks more if they did 350. I don't know. Maybe they would drop the iPhone 11 150 bucks from 600 to 450. That would just be a really good deal, I think. Um, so any new features we're expecting? I don't think so. I will be planning on buying the 13 Pro for myself. I will have, still have that video. I just, I'm gonna probably buy the 13 Pro Max and I don't think I'll have an unboxing because we actually have to go like to the store and Apple store and do it. Um, but anyway, I think that's what this year's lineup's gonna be. Um, for colors, I think we're gonna get a orange type thing, a bronze, and a matte black, and then we'll have the silver like we usually do. And then for the 12 mini and 12, I think it might just be the same colors. Maybe we'll get an orange instead of the blue we just got, or something like that. Maybe we, yeah, just get rid of a color that we've had for a while. Maybe the green or something. Um, but then for next March, I am I, for rumors, I, th I don't really want to say this because I don't want people to come back to this video and yell at me, but, um, I think we're going to see an iPhone SE third generation, which kind of makes sense. And they'll price it saying, if you turn in the iPhone SE, you'll get 200 bucks off of this or something like that. Um, and it'll just come with 5G and maybe better battery life because 5G are you sucking the 12s and the 12s had lower battery. So it better be a bigger battery on the SE 3. Um, I'm hoping they give it something else that makes it a worthy upgrade from the SE. Um the SE2 because it's just pretty much 5G. Um, but then we're apparently seeing uh, the year after that a hole punch design which I don't think I feel like it should be every four years really but they're obviously not doing that. Um, but then at this end of that year we should be seeing a 14 Pro Max is the highest one then a 14 Pro and then a 14 Max that kind of sounds weird and then a 14. I hope they get the iPhone 14 price the starting base to be 700 if not it's gonna be eight hundred dollars nine hundred dollars a thousand eleven hundred i don't really like that idea i wish they would go back to the iphone 11's pricing which was the cheapest we'd gotten in a couple of years um but and then by then i think oh well then which no okay going back to the this year's lineup i think it'll be those the new four iphones I think they'll get rid of that 12 mini and keep the 12 
and then keep the 11, keep the SE. So I don't think they'll have the 12 mini. Maybe they will, just kind of weird. But then this year, um, then in 2022, they'll have those, of the four iPhones I just named, then they'll have the 13, 13 mini iPhone 12, and then SE 3. And then a year after that, which would be super good is, it, um, once the iPhone 13 mini is two years old, it will probably be like 450 bucks and that would be such a good deal for that small phone. I I think right now it's not a great deal, those the 12 mini and 13 mini, but I think it would be a great deal coming when it's almost going to get discontinued. It's 450 bucks, like usually every last iPhone or 400. So that's all we got for now in the next two years. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got a fly. Ew. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out.